When discussing pipe stress and structural interoperability, there are two steps on the pipe stress side. The first step is to model, load, analyze, and review your piping model as you would normally. And you want to satisfy your criteria as you would normally. So here I have a model that's modeled and loaded, and I can analyze it. And I can re view results as normal. Obviously, there would be many more steps to this, setting up your load cases correctly, reviewing your combinations and adjusting them as necessary. But I'll just review the code stresses here. I see my code stresses are OK. Let's say I review my displacements. They're OK as well. My forces and moments, my support loads, my anchor loads and nozzle loads, all acceptable. I won't go through those steps here, uh, but let's just assume that they're all acceptable. So at this point, we are ready to send this model out to the structural team instead through a pipe link file. I can do that by coming to File, Export, Model to STAD using SQLite pipe link. The pipe link.db will be the later versions of AutoPipe instead. I'm sending the model out. I'm also sending the support loads out. I'm exporting the support loads. Those are going to be included on the structural side. So this tells me that I have supports updated successfully. The model data was exported. I have anchors exported. The loads for supports and anchors are exported. And everything is now complete. And I can click Close. At this point in the folder that my model is stored in, that this pipelink.db file was sent out to, I can see this file was just created. This is what I would send over to the structural team working in STAD. The structural team would import the piping model into the structural model, would connect the piping model to the structural model through the supports, would transfer the piping loads through the supports to the structure, would create combinations including the piping loads now with their structural loads and would rerun the analysis. If necessary, changes would be made. If not, and still acceptable and passing the structural criteria, the model can then just be sent back over to the pipe stress team to import into AutoPipe. So when that structural model is satisfying the structural criteria, including the piping loads, and the model gets sent back to me, again, I am receiving a pipelink.db file. And I can import that into my model. So I can select the File ribbon tab. Under the Insert Model pull-down, I'll select Model from STAD using SQLite pipelink or the pipelink.db file. I'll find the file that I saved that I received from Structural to Import. I'll select it and select Next. I can review some data about this, including the revision history, and I can click Next. And what I'm going to import is the structural model, the structural loads, and the pipe connections that were made on the structural side. And I'll click Next and allow it to import. I get a status update about it importing materials, beam nodes, beams, anchors, beam releases, dead loads, and supports, and that the import was complete and I can click Finish. And then a Support Connections dialog pops up to show me any of the supports in my model that were previously connected to ground and now what they're connected to now that I have the structure imported. So my supports were automatically connected to the structure from the piping according to what was done instead. And I can click OK. The import log would show very similar information, so I'll skip that at this point. We can see my connected piping model. Uh, we can see these supports are now connected to the structure. There are no little squares on the outside of the supports. And if I double click on the support, the connected to now says a beam point. So all of this should be reviewed and double checked to make sure that the connections are correct and work appropriately. And then when ready, on the piping side, we can rerun our analysis, whichever analysis you are running. And then you can review your results again as desired and as needed. This is the general overview of the auto pipe side 
of the piping and structural interoperability between autopipe and STAT.